All right, let's start from the top. My girlfriend, who I was in a long distance relationship with, found a new boyfriend. And just when I was in the depths of despair from being dumped. <laughs> you know, you just can't beat an older guy from the city. <laughs> Um, hey you. I heard that you and your girlfriend broke up. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm free. Uh, for what? I don't have a boyfriend, so I'm free. Ugh. Haibara Inako. They called her Hyena. And this was the start of our romance. Haibara Inako, who everyone calls Hyena, ever since she... Confess to me. She's been bringing me homemade bento every day. I studied up on all your favorite foods. Is it good? Have you fallen in love with me? It was crazy delicious. If the way to a man's heart is his stomach, that was overrun. Didn't see very many veggies though. Oh, right. This is the story of how she chewed me down to the bone. Hi, Bari Naka. <laughs> Who everyone calls Hyena. Wow, your hand is so small. How cute. I feel like I could snap it like a twig. She's giant and strong. I got to protect you. She's, well, so far she's been nice to me. But if it came down to it, I doubt I could take her. <laughs> Hyena Chan, despite her ferocious appearance, is basically quite kind. However, I get this awful feeling that she's firmly in control, and that's not changing anytime soon. I'd get worried letting you go home all alone. I'd better walk you home. From now on, we'll walk home together every day. Something about this feels very wrong, but I can't quite put my finger on why. Hyena-chan has started picking me up from home before walking me to school. She even introduced herself to my parents. Good morning. Uh, I'm his classmate. My name is Haibara. Uh, huh? A girl came out of her way to pick up our son? A big one, too. She was closing in all around me, and I was beginning to run out of places to hide. Uh, even so, I strangely didn't feel any hints of malice. Maybe this wasn't such a bad thing. I feel like Hyena-chan and I have been getting closer. I try inviting her to hang out our next day off. Uh, uh, I'll come for sure. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, maybe I jumped the gun. For some reason, it feels like I scattered feed before a wild beast. But this can't come back to bite me, right? <laughs> The day of my outing of Haibara Inako, or Hyena-chan. We ended up walking about, with her constantly holding me close to her body. It would seem that this is meant to prevent other women from snatching me, I guess. I don't think she's got anything to worry about at all, but without a doubt, she's got a very strong desire to keep me all to herself. I'm going out to lunch with Haibara Inako, or Hyena-chan. We went with burgers since the price is pretty reasonable, but... I've got a big mouth and can't really eat in a cute way. Uh, so I'd, I'd like it if you didn't watch me too closely. Seeing her eat so bashfully was actually really exhilarating. And she actually did look really cute. The mountain of hamburgers piled high in front of her disappeared in a moment. It was like watching National Geographic. Time flies when you're having fun. Before we even realize it, it was time to go home. On the train ride home, when I happened to glance over at her, she had a very lonely looking expression on her face. Somehow, it even seemed like her hair was drooping. Maybe, despite her imposing appearance, she's actually a lonely person. So, I decided I would walk her home. Huh? You're always doing this for me, and I feel bad. This time for sure. I'll show her that little bit of manliness I have left. 
She looks happy. Her tongue is even sticking out. Anyway, I'm just glad she cheered up. Although it does look like she's trying to bite down on me. <laughs> Surprisingly, Haibara Inako, or Hyena-chan, lives alone. It seems that her family's pretty big on encouraging independence early on. Not sure if that's the best idea, but what do I know? Despite me coming over without any warning, her apartment was still neat and tidy. I realized she cooks for herself, and that's why her lunches are so good. You came all this way, so uh, come on in. And at the same time, I decided I'd clean up my room just a bit when I get home. I was only supposed to be walking her home. But somehow, I ended up inside Habaro Inako's apartment. I'm just now starting to get a little bit nervous, but she was nice enough to bring me a cup of tea. So, I guess I'll relax a bit more. That's nice! Well, would you look at the time? I... I guess I better get going now. Uh, wait! Have you gone? Uh huh. How far have you gone? Uh, uh, uh huh. W what do you mean? Oh, what did you do with your last girlfriend? What's your record? Answer honestly now. Uh, I'm thinking I'll break all of them. Ah, uh, hey, mom. Uh. I'm gonna eat out tonight, so I won't be home for dinner. Oh, really? All right, message received. But you're not going to some weird freaky place, are you? Ah, it's fine. It's nearby. Are you with your usual gang of pals? You guys always get so rowdy when you're all together. I'll be, I'll be careful not to. Well, see ya. Whoa, hey, what's up, man? You're looking a little unsteady. What'd you do over the break? Uh, uh, you know, stuff. <laughs> I haven't had my fill. Not even close. It's not like I was really trying to hide it or anything, but my friends ended up finding out that I was dating Hibaro Inako. What? You going out with Aina? I can't even imagine it. I mean, yeah, I guess she's a girl, but, uh, like... I wouldn't say she's dating material or anything, or even that normal. She kind of straddles the line between girl and monster, don't you think? Plus, she's always alone, you know? Yeah, she might be a little too powerful in a couple of ways, but she can be nice, kind, and thoughtful too. She's a good girl. Huh. Well, if you say so, so then I guess that's how it is. You got home late the other night. Sorry. Was everything okay? Oh, it was fine. Don't worry. My mom's always yelling at me, so I'm used to it. Hibara Inako is basically a good girl. I think she just has some trouble judging how to act appropriately with people sometimes. <coughs> when she's regretful, she looks like a great big dog. It makes her even cuter. Would she get mad if I patted her on the head and ruffled her hair maybe? It's worth a shot. They started taking turns walking each other home from school. It's really nice that your house is so close to school, Ina-chan. Tomorrow I'll walk you home, Kaiba-kun. Ah! I forgot the assignment that's due tomorrow! Want to do it together now? Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's blast through it at light speed! <laughs> A lot of stuff happened, and they made no progress on the assignment whatsoever. A few moments later... Once again, I find myself heading back and apologizing to my mother for coming home so late. <sighs> I was working on an assignment and uh, the time just got away from me. I'm on my way home right now. <sighs> hmm? It's a key? Did someone drop it? Huh? Where'd that key of mine get to? Show yourself. Uh, are you perhaps looking for this? Ah, that's it! Whoa! You've got blood on you. Are you hurt? Are you alright? I'm fine. This is scrub blood. Uh, anyway, 
All I have right now is this handkerchief. Here. Oh, and your key too. Uh, uh, the hell, you bastard? Well, uh, I'm in a hurry, so I'll be off. I can't forget to drop it again. Uh, hold it, some bitch. Ah, <sighs> shit feels good to do nice things. Don't try this at home, all you good boys and girls in the audience. Shishido Kurene stands alone, isolated. Relying fully on violence and looking down on those around her, she is alone, even in the world of delinquents. Naturally, even at home, she didn't have a place to belong. The gap between her and her peers who are walking a brighter path is widening at a rapid pace. Somewhere, deep inside, she understood that. However, it's too late to turn back now. Knowing you're heading for a dead-end future while being unable to stop can be incredibly draining on the spirit and the mind. Amidst all that, her meeting with Kaiba fiercely stimulated her brain. They didn't speak about anything impactful, but smiling, eye contact, being treated nicely. She had even been given a handkerchief for her, who had never once had a friend or ally being shown kindness by a peer of the opposite sex, reverberated in her mind, increasing the pressure and creating an unimaginable surge. From that day, Shishido Kurune fell. Get married, drop out, five kids, three boys, two girls. Brace yourself. Into a fully one-sided love. Hibara Inako came to pick me up at my home again today. It's become a daily event. Somehow or other, she got on good terms with my mom. Would you mind if I came over to visit during the holidays? Well, summer vacation's almost here already, isn't it? Oh, that would be lovely. I'd feel reassured having you around, Nina-chan. I'm not sure what part of her was reassuring, but I am truly impressed at Aina-chan's propriety and cunning, especially in getting my parents in the palm of her hand. Shishido Kurene has been waiting for days now. <laughs> All in order to be reunited with the boy whose name she did not yet know. On that same road where they met before, at that same time. However, in order to prepare for the midterm exams, that all-important boy had invited Haibara Inako, otherwise known as Hyena-chan, and was currently studying at home with her. <clears throat> uh, for a variety of reasons, they were unable to concentrate on their studies while at Hyena-chan's place. Very understandable. In spite of Karune's burning love, the heavens weep at my beauty. They would continue missing each other for a few days more. Oh, thanks to Haibara Hinako, aka Hyena-chan, teaching me how to study, I was able to pass my final exams with a pretty good grade. Now, summer vacation has begun, safe and sound. Uh, good morning. Has one of the best academic performances in her grade, as a matter of fact. To pay her back for that, the two of us are going shopping today. Now that summer vacation has begun, Shishido Kurene decided that she wouldn't be able to meet that boy on the path to school anymore. Therefore, she has started a part-time job at a restaurant. Now, it's not impossible that he might come into the shop. Plus, she's able to save up money for future dates. Clever thinking, Shishido. Two birds with one stone. Swoon, 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 swoon. Wow, you're fired up today. 